Hey, what's up everybody? This is a video of how I balanced my Bebop 2 propellers. Well, I've only balanced two because I was a bit short of time today. Why do you want to balance your propellers for the Bebop 2? Well, to reduce video jello, which is produced by a lot of vibration from the propellers, the motor, transferred to the frame and then to the camera. This um, on bright days where the shutter is fast it produces a lot of jello. Uh, here is a slow motion video where I dropped it down to 50% to show you a bit of the vibration. Well the Bebop's frame is flexible so it is meant to flex a bit but to be dancing around um, like a dog that's uh, that's a little overexcited, I think that's a bit too much. So I ordered the propeller balancer from which is made in Germany. I ordered it on eBay. The link is in the description. I used that to balance uh, four propellers as best as I could but unfortunately two of them remained persistent um, in causing the legs to shake way too much than it should. So without further ado I am going to show you the tools. You will need nail polish, a brush for dusting, sandpaper or a fingernail file, and your balancer. Here I check the, uh, the balancer cage. It uses a normal motor cage with the magnet still intact, but a customized shaft. Now this shaft is longer than your uh, normal bebop shaft so you will not be able to take out your motor cage and balance it on this. What I did prior to applying nail polish was I made the surface rough by sanding it. That would help in the bonding of the nail polish uh, paint to the plastic propeller. Once done, I attempted to balance it by holding it in a position and watching it stay. If it fell, it would fall on the heaviest side and the second heaviest in the middle and the least heaviest on the top. So in this order, I applied nail polish and continued to sand, balance, sand, balance. Now balancing the Bebop uh, propeller isn't as easy as it looks. Um, even I couldn't get it completely balanced. So I tried to do the best I can to get it as balanced as possible so I can put it on the drone and go have a test flight. The reason why I sanded the propellers was for the nail polish to stick. Once it dried up, it fused perfectly with the, the plastic blade. And I preferred to sand down the nail polish than to sand down a heavy blade and make it really thin because I think that would uh, affect its durability in flight. On my test flight, I only managed to eliminate the extreme wiggle on only two of the legs. The front left, as you can see here, and the rear right were just crazy. They were going crazy. So I did a different combination of uh, propellers. Um, all the four propellers that I that I attempted to balance, I just moved them around until I 
I confirmed that the two propellers that were consistent in uh, being very good and not causing uh, the, the leg shake. Those were my, I would say, best balance propellers. And I have another two propellers which I need to do a bit more work on to eliminate this wiggle in the feet. Now I believe that you can, I believe that it's the propellers, reason being when I swap the propellers around to a different uh, corresponding position like counterclockwise and uh, clockwise I move them across to the other blade and the other blade back I managed to uh, replicate the steadiness so having said that I think I've uh, I've improved the um, the flight of the drone per se to some extent and the video is getting better now I do not have as much jello as I would taking off in soft flights absolutely no jello I only have jello at full speed but even good bebop 2's have jello at full speed I think from what I've heard and read alright this is the part where I'm just gonna show you uh, clips off the bebop flying with the audio off the bebop so if you've gotten enough information for now you can end this video if you want to watch the bebop uh, flexing and dancing around with the frame looking like it's gonna break um, you can continue to watch enjoy So uh, I'm probably going to get a couple comments of people saying that it was dangerous to be that close to the drone. Um, I've included the footage from the drone uh, with me using the 70 to 200 lens uh, to get you that close close-up shot of the uh, legs and uh, the frame vibrating and flexing. So I hope this uh, this has given uh, you all some insight as to the problems that the Bebop 2 has. But it is a very fun drone to have and I, I still like using it. I just uh, would prefer to have uh, a lot more usable uh, footage. Um, yeah, last but not least, this is the footage after I put the, the two best balance propellers in the back of the drone and the back legs are not wobbling now it's the front legs that are wobbling so I figured to the batteries in the back that's the heaviest if vibrations gonna have a good chance of going to the camera it's gonna be from the heaviest side so 
you can see in this video um, there's very uh, uh, there's uh, little or an absence of jello I'm I really can't see it but it is a lot better than what I was getting before with um, all four propellers unbalanced I will work on the other two propellers and I will post up another video once I've gotten all four legs to uh, not to wiggle as much and to uh, to operate as normal as, as as what it should from from Parrot. Thank you so much for watching. If um, if you like this video, just give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, I am really sorry for wasting your time. Um, and uh, subscribe or unsubscribe if you don't like. Be safe and safe flying.